This is Missed Fortune Radio with New York Times best-selling author and your host, Doug Andrew. There's a good way to pay off your mortgage. You know that... Uh, a lot of these outfits will show you how to uh, uh, send a little bit extra principal, like you make a mortgage payment, half of a mortgage payment every two weeks. And so lo and behold, you made an extra mortgage payment once a year and you can shave 10 or 15 years off your mortgage. That's called the bi-weekly or Canadian amortization method. Uh, other outfits show you how to uh, uh, set aside money in a, in a side fund or in a, in a money merge account. And by doing that, the money accumulates and you apply against your mortgage principal. You're actually killing your partner, Uncle Sam, in the process by doing that. You think you're saving money, but in the long run, as I always illustrate in my educational events, you're actually uh, stretching out the time that you will pay off your mortgage. You think you're speeding it up, but it's stretching it out. I've done research on this. If you follow their method, yeah, it, it's true. You could send extra principal and so forth and pay off a 30-year mortgage in 12 and a half years. And by doing that, you, you save mortgage interest. And then at the end of 12 and a half years, they, you know, say, well, if you set aside that money into some type of a side fund and let's accumulate that side fund earns 8% interest, okay? Uh, at, at the end of that 30 years, you might end up with about $987,000. Well, if you have a disciplined system, that is true. That's a good way to go. But do you know what I have been telling people to do? Hey, keep your mortgage as high as possible. Stay liquid. Keep safety of principle and be earning a rate of return. And don't kill your best partner, Uncle Sam, in the process by sending extra principal payments against your mortgage because many people who did that, they ended up losing their homes in foreclosure this year because uh, they had no liquidity, okay? I teach this in great detail in these webinars, but if you chose to do that, you'd have enough money in your right-hand pocket, so to speak, that you could totally pay off a 30-year mortgage two years and, and, and six months sooner in 10.2 years instead of 12 and a half years. And so you do that, and then at that time end of that time period, you could pay off your house if you wanted to, and then sock away the difference, you'll end up with $1,250,000, nearly $300,000 more than doing it the way everybody else tells you to do. But that's only the better way. I teach you how to do it the best way. The best way is to keep liquid, keep safety of principle, and be earning a rate of return. I keep money accumulating safely in a place better than in my home, in my right-hand pocket, so to speak, in, in investments that are uh, in these webinars. I show you the investments that pass the liquidity, safety, and rate of return test. And then you will have enough money in 10 years to totally pay off your mar mortgage if you chose to. Uh, but Rather than physically paying off your mortgage by pouring that money together, you keep it in a liquid safe position so that at any time with an electronic funds transfer or phone call, you could pay off your mortgage. So my mortgage is paid off anytime I want it to be in, in a few seconds with an electronic funds transfer. But what I do is I choose not to physically pay it off. And by keeping that money growing, because my house is going to keep going up in value or down in value regardless, but I keep my money separate. So during the last two years, when my house went down in value, 400,000, I didn't lose because my money was wasn't trapped in my house. I've been continually earning about 8% tax-free average. I've been making twice as much as the net cost of my mortgage during the last two years. So I'm in control when I do it that way. And you will actually have a million eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars instead of nine hundred thousand dollars. You'll have twice as much money. You'll you'll be a million dollars ahead in over a 30-year period, not sending the money to the mortgage company. And it took the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago years before they finally did the analysis and study to come up with the same conclusion I've been teaching people for years. And so, yes, you can go about it the good way and, and you're going to pay about $96,000 of unnecessary income tax based on a, just a normal, traditional $150,000 mortgage. But if you do it my way, you don't pay any tax compared to that situation. And at the end of the time period, you will be... Uh, a million two hundred thousand dollars of liquid cash to the better by doing it the best way. This is Missed Fortune Radio with Doug Andrew.